Okay, time for part two on the older 775 DC motor powered circular bench saw. Um, I have a nice meaty 36 volt power supply for it. And we have um, an NVR switch. So they've got to be mounted and it's got to be wired up. So that's, that's the next thing to do. Okay, so here's the uh, base of the uh, bench saw. Uh, the power supply is wired in. Um, the NVR switch is wired in. Um, I've still got to connect. I need some spade terminals to connect uh, those two wires to the motor. But um, yeah, it's pretty much done. Uh, the NVR switch is, is fitted now. Um, this partition here is to try and keep as much of the sawdust away from the uh, power supply and motor as possible. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's it, it, it's it's coming along. Um, let me grab the other half of it, and you can see how it goes together. So there's the uh, uh, top one. Uh, this screws come from the base to actually hold the, the, the top part in place. But um, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a bit rough and ready, but I think it will do the trick. Um, I'm probably going to leave the, um, this side open to allow plenty of air to get into the power supply and the motor. And I'll put a cover over here, which will be removable to, to, um, uh, so that you can take that off and then uh, uh, remove all the sawdust but we're, we're getting there we're 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 pretty much ready to um pretty much nearly ready to test it so uh that's going to be the next stage well we're about there with the uh, mini bench saw um it's all together of uh, this is a just a removable push push fit door to keep all the um uh, sawdust and that inside obviously there's a partition now which separates the blade compartment from the compartment where the um, motor and the power supply is but uh, yeah I think we're, we're about done um, I did make up a very crude um, fence for it which will uh, An old clamp that I happen to have lying around. I can't even remember what that's off of. Um, and some and some block wood, um, but uh, which seems to work all right, you know. Um, so yes, now the uh, moment of truth. Time to actually try it and see whether it will work. Okay. <coughs> Well, we're um, we're ready to uh, go for the first time. It's plank clamped firmly to the to the bench. I've got the uh, RPM meter here because this will be the first time it's been run on thirty six volts. So we're going to give that a go and see uh, see what it comes up with. So let's see if it runs. Well, four thousand six hundred and sixty five. Four thousand six hundred and sixty-five RPM, which is probably about right given what readings we got on twenty-four volts and thirty volts, and also, of course, it's now the blade is running true, which is which is much much better. Okay, right, so that's the speed check over with. So the next job is to try cutting some wood. Okay, well, we're going to start off with <coughs> some small bits of wood, and we'll just work our way up and see how it goes. So, a little bit of strip wood. No problem with that. And then we've got a bit of dowel. No problem with that. A bit of plain strip wood. Again, no problem. MDF, about half inch thick. Well, 
Well, absolutely no problem with any of that whatsoever. Um, right, I think what we'll do now is we'll put the fence on. Okay, well this is the, <coughs> the I've only got this small bit of reasonably large um, wood. This is probably, what, inch, an inch and a quarter square, something like that. So I'm gonna use pushers for this because I don't want it, my fingers anywhere near it. But we'll see how it copes with that. well I was surprised at that it has actually I mean obviously it slowed down uh, you saw it slow down but it cut through it fine I mean you know you can see the, the end result there no problem at all yeah so yeah I, I'm, I'm fairly certain that, that so far everything I've thrown at it has, uh, has, has been a success um, I know what we haven't tried we haven't tried some plywood let me go and get some plywood okay well this is this is a fairly large piece of eight ply it's probably I don't know, a uh, half inch, something like that. So um, we'll give this a go. Well, absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. So I... I'm very impressed with this. I mean, bearing in mind this is a motor, the 775 DC motor from Banggood, which I think costs about eight pounds, something like that. Um, and it's running on 36 volts, which is well within its uh, uh, capability. Um, and it pretty much handled everything I threw at it. So um, I would have to conclude that this has been a successful, uh, successful build. Um, this is gonna be very useful with the, I've, I, this is the reason I wanted this was because I have a small bench saw, but it only has about um, a 12 mil depth of cut on it. So this has got a much deeper depth of cut. So you know, this will this will be much much more useful. So so yeah, that's just yet another use for the amazing Banggood 775 DC motor. Uh, I'll put links in the description where you can get all the parts that I used to make this. But um, no, I think we can conclude that this was a success. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part two of the uh, mini bench saw. Scratch built mini bench saw. Um, thanks very much for watching. Cheers. <laughs>